Welcome to the Kaba Acid Limited Stand at the 15th African Dairy Conference and Exhibition of 2019. Kaba Acid's participation is in partnership with international collaborator Global Good Fund by Intellectual Ventures LLC and local partner ABS TCM Limited, an independent artificial insemination service provider in Kenya. Kaba Acid Limited is the pioneer in the manufacture and distribution of high purified liquefied carbon dioxide and solid carbon dioxide dry ice in the East African region. We remain the leading producer and supplier of carbon dioxide products suitable for a wide range of diverse uses. Kaba Acid products are manufactured from carbon dioxide and is extracted from underground reservoirs and purified to the highest standards on site using and latest advanced technology. Our flagship brand food, grade CO2 gas, used for carbonation of drinks and water, meets the critical beverage and food industry requirements of FSSC 22000 certification. For over 70 years, Kaba Acid has been distributing its bulk products throughout the East African region in specialized cryogenic tankers designed to routinely deliver timely as ordered. CO2 liquid and gas in cylinders is distributed through Kaba Acid's depot in Nairobi and through selected distributorships in Nairobi, Mombasa and Kampala. A flagship at Kaba Acid has been the dry ice product supplied in 3mm and 16mm pellets used for chilling, cryo-freezing, preservation and cleaning in the food, hospitality, medical, aviation and engineering sectors of the economy. Kaba Acid is now proud to add to an already diverse range of products. Dry ice in pack form for bull semen preservation during AI service delivery in the dairy sector. Global Good Fund has partnered with local companies Kaba Acid Limited and ABS TCM Limited to provide an affordable way of preserving bull semen for AI service delivery. Global Good Fund by Intellectual Ventures LLC has through extensive research and trials designed equipment for use in the last mile delivery of artificial insemination service. ABS TCM Limited, a lead partner providing access to the artificial insemination inputs and services for the research and field trials in East Africa. Kaba Acid Limited has partnered in this initiative by providing technical support on dry ice manufacture and supply in its position as the expert in carbon dioxide supply in the region. Currently, AI is delivered using liquid nitrogen to preserve and store bull semen. However, liquid nitrogen is not readily available mainly because it is compressed from the air and most of the countries use on-site generators which use a lot of electricity, require spares and technical skills to maintain, thus are expensive to manage. An availability and cost of liquid nitrogen has largely constrained dairy farmers' access to quality AI services. Delivering artificial insemination has been challenged by lack of storage, uh, what we call cryopreservation or liquid nitrogen to store the bull semen. We are challenged in the sense that liquid nitrogen is obtained from compressing air which can be done industrially by companies like um, BOC, British Oxygen Company which makes oxygen. Otherwise we will have to compress it where BOC is not available we will compress it from on-site generators. These on-site generators are expensive to maintain, they require spares to be imported, they require talent who really understand the know-how to fix them when they go down. So this has made liquid nitrogen availability very scarce. Liquid nitrogen boils off at negative 196 degrees Celsius, therefore extracts it and refrigerates the semen container at the cold temperature. Equally, carbon dioxide can be converted to dry ice which sublimes at negative 78 degrees Celsius, which is still an effective temperature for storing bull semen. The availability of liquid carbon dioxide is good. We can have people access liquid carbon dioxide all over this region or all over the counties in Kenya, which will help us grow artificial insemination if we use it to supplement the shortages of liquid nitrogen. Global Good Fund, through extensive research and trial in their laboratories in Seattle and through fields in Tanzania, Uganda and Kenya, has proven dry ice to be the best alternative for liquid nitrogen in artificial insemination, where bull semen needs to be stored in cryogenic temperatures to remain viable. The research and field trials revolved around the design and use of new special cryogenic container, AI field flask, making use of dry ice more convenient by the AI service providers during the final mile delivery of bull semen to the dairy farmers. Global Good Fund has developed this technology in support of over 9 million dairy cattle in the East African region and have opted to partner with Kaba Acid Limited 
as the regional suppliers for the technology in East Africa. The technology of using dry ice as the alternative to liquid nitrogen in the final mile delivery of bull cement to the farmer is made possible by use of specialized equipment designed by intellectual ventures. Micro bulk tank. This is a special tank made for storage and transportation of liquefied carbon dioxide and is directly connected to a dry ice pack maker via a flexible high pressure hose. The pack maker produces cylindrical shaped dry iced pieces referred to as the dry ice pack and the AI flask is a portable cryogenic container that holds the dry ice packs, goblet holder and goblet. Dry ice pack maker. This is a machine specially designed for the production of dry ice packs. The dry ice packs produced are circular in shape with a hole at the center to accommodate the goblet holder. The dry ice pack maker comes in two models. The manually operated compression jack and the pneumatically operated compression jack. Dry ice AI field flask. This is a specially designed portable container that is easy to use in the field by the inseminator. It is lightweight, vacuum insulated and has a 15 day dry ice holding time. Inside is color coded goblet holder where the dry ice is placed on top of the other. The goblet holder is also designed to prevent the goblet from coming into direct contact by the dry ice packs. The goblet holder is color coded to avoid straw exposure. The goblet is designed to hold the bull cement straws. Dry packs are produced from liquid carbon dioxide that is stored in a micro bulk tank. The micro bulk tank is connected to a dry ice pack maker via a flexible high pressure hose. When handling carbon dioxide, your safety must come first. Before you begin production of the dry ice packs, ensure that you are working in a well ventilated area. Carbon dioxide can cause asphyxiation. Dress in appropriate protective gear. Carbon dioxide is stored under high pressure and is extremely cold and can cause frostbite. Read and understand the information in the material safety data sheet. Once you have done the above, you are now ready to begin the production of packs using the pack maker. Ensure all pipe fittings are tightly fastened. Close and tighten the pack maker cover. Carefully and slowly open the liquid outlet valve on the micro bulk tank. Liquid carbon dioxide will begin to flow into the pack maker. Wait until you see carbon dioxide gas begin to be discharged from the pack maker. Observe until you begin to see excessive carbon dioxide being discharged. Close the liquid outlet valve on the micro bulk tank. Operate the compression jack either manually or by using the compressed air to pneumatically operate the compression jack. Once the jack is no longer moving upward, discharge the compression pressure by slowly and carefully opening the release on the jack. Carefully open the pack maker cover. Close the release valve on the jack. Operate the jack to push the dry ice pack out of the pack maker. Remove the flask cork cover and remove the goblet holder. Pick the dry ice pack from the pack maker. To avoid breaking the dry ice pack, slowly and carefully place in the goblet holder by sliding it in. Place the goblet holder back into the AI flask and replace the cork cover. The process is repeated until the goblet holder is full. Now close the flask by replacing the flask lid and secure it using the clamps. Currently, Kaba Acid Limited produces ice in three forms. In 16mm, 3mm pellets, and in packs. Tests are ongoing to determine the best dry ice form to use for longest flask holding times. Once AI flask is full with either the 3mm dry ice pellets or the dry ice packs, It is then packaged and sent to the inseminator via Wells Fargo courier services. The flask will be transported overnight and received at the courier's field or branch office the next day. The inseminator then goes to his local area Wells Fargo courier office to collect the dry ice pellets or solid dry ice. He submits his national identification card, collects the flask, opens and exchanges the dry ice pellets in his flask containing the semen. The inseminator must cover the goblet holder with the goblet holder cover to avoid the dry ice from combining with the semen. This prevents removal of the loaded goblet from one flask to another to prevent exposure of the semen tubes to higher temperature which might affect the viability of the semen. Once this is done, the inseminator is set for his routine 
AI service delivery. We are now proud to offer CO2 in its dry ice form for use in the dairy industry for artificial insemination. The artificial insemination process in the field will be similar to that currently in use with liquid nitrogen, but only this time with the more readily available and cheaper dry ice technology in use. Kabasit CO2 Limited, in partnership with Global Good Initiative, is pleased to provide and supply the AI flask and dry ice for the benefit of the AI technician and the farmer. Once the field trials are completed and the launch of the technology for commercial use is done, Kaba Acid Limited will, at an affordable price, supply the dry ice AI field flask, dry ice packs and pellets, and provide technical sales support, including proper and safe handling of the technology. We are grateful to Global Good for having developed this technology and for choosing Karbasi to help supply dry ice to support the 9 million dairy cattle in the East Africa region.